hello and welcome to Burton Ween. <laughs> During the entire month of October, I will be re-watching and discussing films associated with Tim Burton. This includes films directed by Tim Burton, produced by Tim Burton, or simply inspired by his works. To kick off Burton Ween, let's begin with the directorial film debut of the man himself, Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Pee-wee's Big Adventure was released in 1985 as a feature-length debut of the character Pee-wee Herman to the big screen the success of which led to the very popular and very trippy children's television show Pee-wee's Playhouse. The character of Pee-wee Herman was created by Paul Rubens for his 1980 stage show, The Pee-wee Herman Show. Although the stage show Pee-wee was much more intended for adults. Shalom, Pee-wee. <laughs> My name is Shalomo. <laughs> I'm nine and I have been in the army two years already. <laughs> rather than the monkey training man that we've come to know and tolerate. I don't make monkeys, I just train them. Let's see what else I bought. Well, almost. Milk, milk, lemonade, from the corner fudges made. <laughs> the film stars Paul Rubens as Pee Wee Herman, before his infamous arrest involving a movie theater and his own Pee Wee, who is half sugar hype child, half Doc Brown? as he embarks on a quest to retrieve his stolen bicycle that he loves more than anything. Look, Daddy, I like you. Like! I like you! And that's the thing, I like you too! Daddy! Anything. Even going so far as to dream of winning the Tour de France with it. Is anyone else noticing a trend between that race and criminal charges? So this asshole personification of white privilege Francis shows up. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. And he wants Pee-wee's bike, but Pee-wee's not having any of it. Sorry, so Francis Herman. concocts a plan to steal Pee-wee's bike for himself. What a dick. Pee-wee's bike goes missing and the police tell him there is nothing they can do. I mean, isn't that always what they say just to instigate plot? I know what you're up to, Hopper. Nine out of a hundred times, kid goes missing. The kid is with a parent or a relative. What about the other time? So Pee-wee confronts Francis with the notion that he stole his bike. And this leads to a scene that can only be described as a child-friendly waterboarding until Francis' dad intervenes. Pee-wee decides to offer up his sadistically capitalistic reward. Simple. Whoever returns the bike is obviously the person who stole it, so they don't deserve any reward. <laughs> and when hearing about this, Francis is intimidated by Pee-wee's resistance. Gee, it's almost as if he would have expected retaliation after stealing someone's property. I mean, it's already been established that he likes this bike more than he likes, you know, anything. So we're gonna have tryouts. Pee-wee visits a street psychic who tells him that his bike is at the Alamo. So what better way to get there than to catch a ride from a hardened criminal? Pee-wee drives the car off a cliff and he's back on his own once more. And who could forget that famous Large Marge scene? Be sure and tell him Large Marge sent ya! <laughs> Pee-wee goes on a string of wacky, zany adventures, all in the search for his lost bike. Once he finally makes it to the Alamo, he's disappointed to learn that his bike's not there. And by the way, the Alamo doesn't have a basement. I'm telling you now just for future reference. Something you just have to experience. But Pee-wee finds his bike being used at a film set, and that gives way to a merry chase. Even Godzilla and King Ghidorah make a cameo. So Warner Brothers hears about Pee-wee's story, and they decide to make it into a movie. Wow, this movie was meta before meta was a thing. All in all, the cinematography wasn't half bad. The humor actually made me laugh at certain times. Kid, what's your name? I can't remember. Where are you from? I can't remember. Can't you remember anything? I remember... The Alamo. Yeah! The movie is just one big trippy barrel of weirdness that should probably be seen to be believed. Next time on Burton Ween. Are you a ghost too? I'm the ghost with the most, babe. <laughs> <laughs>